Typical summer thunderstorms developing in Cincinnati. Uh, these storms rather slow because the steering current in the atmosphere is so weak. So flash flooding has been a big concern with all these thunderstorms that have developed this week. That will continue to be the trend on Thursday. Should hit 90. Philadelphia, D.C., a bit humid as well. Could also see a passing storm in Boston. For the most part, these storms that develop non-severe, the coastal areas could stay dry. But there is a deepening and strengthening low pressure over Chicago. That's where the, the severe threat is more so enhanced due to the close proximity to that surface low. And in any case, that storm and its associated fronts do begin to drift into the northeast late this week, such that on Friday we start to see that cold front trail across the Ohio Valley entering into the northern mid-Atlantic states. And that's going to further increase that threat for severe weather for parts of the northeast on Friday. But here's Thursday, general storms popping up in this warm southwesterly flow, a bit of instability in the atmosphere. Those storms should diminish Thursday night, but this is the cold front, okay? And it's going to be slowly moving east, encountering some of that daytime heating. And uh, yeah, a line, a broken line of storms could develop, and they could certainly go severe. Some areas here are seeing a solid half inch of rain by the end of this week. But Pittsburgh into Buffalo, the Finger Lakes region, Watertown, New York, slight risk. That means scattered severe storms are likely. Damaging winds, large hail cannot rule out a few tornadoes, one or two potentially with those storms Friday.